大家好，我是千鸟，今天要为大家带来的是刺客教条枭雄。这个灵媒什么都知道，是因为他派流浪汉去看，所以他才有办法讲那个美眉的事情，讲的这么仔细。真的是一个骗！一下印下了名字，哎，名片，全都一样，除了名字不同。博士的名字，这样那个博士的名字有可能是假的。泰勒斯的纸条，韦伯和往常一样，带其他人到达之后抵达。这能降低我们的嫌疑。此外，确保制造一个大闪光，他们必须被说服，那足以杀死我。神奇赛德斯。这个假假博士是共犯。一条文件内含未分类的有关赛德斯客户的内容，例如要猫告诉他该让他继承。呃，珍妮丝的姐姐叫他小妹。猫喜欢玩。巫女式的茶匙，要你说他姐认同婚姻。哎，知道账户编号，需要他的签名才能取得。他我的父亲喜欢猎弓、猎松鸡。I didn't ask about this. He said, "Can you tell me the account number A72?" How complex! 我刚刚是不是把流浪汉的那个后面台子撞烂了？多数啊，女士的房子，波士顿简报。日期是七个月前，灵媒预言预言了他预言了自己的死期，在一个精神且戏剧性的最终降临会里，怪族灵媒罗伯特·艾尔揭露事实，给许多被他们的亲人介绍来的客户，他们的亲人付他钱。请他在假的降临会中给他们一些资讯，但后来就跟预言了一样，他在最终降临会中死于纽伯里街神秘的爆炸案。他的其中一个客户皮登文医生宣布他当场死亡。据是被他的亲人介绍来的和神秘的爆炸案
被铅笔圈了起来。他们已经发现某某医生啊，说他死亡就是那个假医生，所以。这件事情被他们发现了，那乌苏拉女士是知道这件事的。我发现了一篇报纸文章，跟我之前给你的相似。那一份来自雪梨，他说我们会在下一次降临会被揭露，就像其他人一样。道格拉斯，是你把我牵涉进来的，你最好解决这件事。道格拉斯的线索倒是没有。乌苏拉女士的房子，乌苏拉女士的遗嘱，给我的侍女米里亚姆和我的管家道格拉斯，我留下我的贝尔辛汉瓷器。在他们的婚礼上给他们，不论这天何时来到，以感谢他们长久的服务。我把我所有剩下的东西都给我的猫米顿斯，希望这些东西会带给他快乐，尽管只占他给我的快乐的其中一小部分。当然，潦草自己写着：“没有米顿斯，我还能怎样？”就是他问猫的遗嘱，这好多，好多人都有利益相关牵扯在一起，他好难判断谁才是坏人。Lady Ursula's health is not good at all, and now she's lost her cat. It's almost like she has nothing left to live for. Lady Ursula was planning to leave her fortune to her cat Mittens. Since the cat passed on, she's been going to that spiritualist and hopes that Mittens will tell her what to do with the money. He's been Lady Ursula's butler for years. We have plans to marry. But first, Douglas needs to put together a little nest egg. He says he'll have some money soon. He <laughs> has Someone paid Thaddeus to tell my lady that a cat wanted them to inherit. Well, that would be quite a clever scheme indeed. Okay, it is like that. But who is who? You believe that Everett paid Thaddeus to manipulate me? It cannot be true. Thaddeus knew all of my comings and goings. He genuinely could communicate with the world beyond. I simply do not believe it. And if you're implying that my butler was paying Thaddeus, I must ask you, why would a great psychic do the bidding of a common butler? You're a fiend. My own sister paying Thaddeus off? I thought he was a bit too insistent that I sign that paper. Well, Anne is going to get a good talking to, believe you me. Lord, you found the office. I admit it. Then, Thaddeus and I travelled the world, bamboozling the gullible and then exposing the swindle. But his death was meant to be a fake. I have no reason to want Thaddeus dead. Quite the contrary. Oh. 
我还漏了什么线索啊？他怎么还没有说我可以？哎，万一开始指控了？好好难哦！所以这个应该是那个医生的角度来写的。要猫告诉他该让他继承，让他解认同婚姻。猫喜欢玩擦翅，直到账户编号。客户应该是不会去杀。赛德斯，所以我们可以先排除外套。博伊德，博伊德是谁？这个。管家，管家是那个嘛？想要结婚这个这个嘛？管家还有艾略特，所以他们两个有付钱应该不会去杀掉，杀掉那个，他叫什么？杀掉赛德斯，要能利用这个机会的人，就是有知道知道那个赛德斯死的。哈沃德是白痴，不用理他。的确是不用理他，他是被他那个吧？有一个谁啊？这个他妹，他妹，我觉得他妹到底有没有牵扯在其中？泰德斯威胁艾略特。钱，所以他不没有付钱，所以赛德斯写信给他。远离报简报，罗伯特房子发现的，可以发现他是骗子。管家有付钱，所以他应该不会杀。那发现他是骗子，就只有这个咯。因为他有雪梨的简报，还有他没有付钱。你觉得艾略特嫌疑最大？为什么艾瑞特嫌疑最大？他他付钱，他叫他叫赛德斯去，让他可以跟那个珍妮斯结婚、欸。哎，他要把赛德斯杀了，目标不就达不成了？管家的话。管家的话也是他的客户啊，我觉得应该是不是他的客户，又发现他是骗子的人才会想要杀他吧。他不付钱的话
，就会举发。嗯，这的确是有可能会让他想杀掉，有道理。他死了还是可以举办，好，那就就决定是你啦。艾略特在在哪？而且艾略特欠很多钱。Psychic was going to expose me, but I was nowhere near the crime scene. Ah, 对呀，他不在现场啊，他不在现场啊，我们在干嘛？怀疑真的吗？妹妹也不在现场啊。谁有在场？管家有在场，乌苏拉有在场，还有妹妹有在场，还有那个白痴有在场。罗伯特，乌苏拉。跟道格拉斯，还有珍妮斯几个都是我不怀疑的人，然后我不知道怎么挑了。还是说乌苏拉发现塞德斯都骗他钱，所以生气了把他杀掉？其他人实在没有什么理由杀、啊，有发现真相的就只有这个，有可能，跟他有可能。谁呢？啊，怎么这么难的罪案啊？要拿到签名，不然就揭发你。哎啊！安娜罗，安罗伯特，他的确是，的确是想要钱的，这点没有错啊。
所以已经获利了，没有人获利吧？你看，文件还没有签啊。有可能是道格拉斯，因为这个寄来了信，谁某人寄来，说道格拉斯牵扯他进去，这有可能是他说雪梨嘛，所以是这个罗伯特发现的，所以道格拉斯为了解决，就只好真的杀了。文件是谁签的？文件，文件是要给那个啊，罗伯特签了之后，就可以拿到账户资料，就决定是你了，被迫解决问题的。He was going to reveal my plot. He paid the price for betraying a fellow crook. This Thaddeus fellow was rather too clever by half. But you pieced it all together very cleverly. Mr. Raymond was particularly interested in this one. He admired the duplicity of Thaddeus. He has no good side, but he is trying to prevent the discovery of that that the who is it? 就是罗伯特寄信过来，说是<咳>发现一个一模一样的事件、啊，在雪梨啊，应该是雪梨吧。林梅塞德斯史密斯不止经常性的诈骗他的客户，还包括客户的朋友和家人。塞德斯和他的同伙韦伯博士，一个城市接着一个城市，又找那些绝望的。人到死后的世界，和死去的人对话。诈骗获利两次，第一次是由他们的客户付钱，第二次是客户的亲人。那些试图操控客户的亲人们，例如安罗伯特小姐，希望得到兄弟的合法授权，移动秘密账户里的财产。艾略特·博伊德希望确保他和珍妮斯·阿奎。阿斯奎斯的婚姻可以完成，以取得获利。乌苏拉女士的管家道格拉斯希望乌苏拉的猫告诉乌苏拉把财把财产留给他。但这些曾和塞德斯一起搬空客户财产的伙同伙们，并没有从中获得好处。塞德斯经常在装死、躲避、追击之前，让这些同伙曝光。这是韦伯博士的工程，在一再诈骗下一个客户。这这个情况下，安知道即将穿帮并引诱管家道格拉斯，唯一出现在犯罪场现场的骗子，在黑暗中杀了塞德斯，永别了塞德斯。你现在可以在空闲时间和那家死去的。人沟通了，亨利 A 蒙。哦，所以是，所以他是要筛出所有骗子，就是操纵的亲人，跟塞德斯同伙的，然后我一到现场，这是关键。原来如此。有个罪案，哎、欸，可是
，好累啊！明天好了，说虽然明天解，先解这个，轻松一点的。后面的最爱越来越困难了。下一站谋杀，我觉得还算解得出来，这次真的好难。啊。My dear Darwin, do you think our young friend here, equipped with a multiplicity of talents, might be enough to ensure Mr. Hammond safe passage? I do not believe I've had the pleasure of meeting a Mr. Hammond. A mutual friend of ours. He arrives in London today. From South Africa, no less. Mr. Hammond is possessed of both tremendous wealth and charming innocence. Which makes him rather attractive prey for some of our great city's less savoury inhabitants. We fear he'll need a more robust escort than two old men might provide. I'm actually rather busy. We have already told him to expect you. His train should have arrived ten minutes ago. Then I shan't keep him waiting. Splendid. Off you go. 会莫名的被迫担任担任护卫上楼。啊，这里。安安。Mr. Hammond, I believe. That is correct. Evie Fry. Mr. Dickens sent me to meet you. Oh, good old Dickens. How very kind of him. Lead on, then. How are you there, Evie? London. Can't say I've missed the weather. My father passed away recently, and I have come home to settle his affairs. Also, I am to be married. You don't sound too eager for the happy event. I have never even met my future bride, Bella Wilton. It was all arranged for me. She may be a good woman, or she may not. I stand to inherit a vast sum. What? Care to trade a room? By Jove! I hear my wealth attracts too much attention. That did do me a deal. Perhaps I can test my bride's sincerity. Ah, that's a good test. Ah, did you hear me? 